Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is another interesting project video for you guys. And this is a very nice Covenant predictive analysis application that uses the machine learning algorithm. I use three machine learning algorithm and based on that, whichever uh, give me the best accuracy a score, I use that algorithm. And if we just click on your gender, suppose your gender is one for male and two for female, suppose. Okay, so this is all the numbers and based all this information, you're gonna get uh, a result. If you are COVID positive or COVID negative, okay. So just uh, put some information which is one for male two for female okay and if you are in tube in tube means you have a tube in your nose that you use for taking all the oxygen if you use that thing but in case of mine i didn't have if you have pneumonia you can put it um you can put one if you have pneumonia if you don't have you can put two suppose um a age is 26 and diabetes no and uh, heart flow problem copd is a heart flow problem okay so if you have some problem in taking breath then that is the disease suppose uh, two and asthma suppose one i i give it one hypertension yes hypertension card uh, cardiovascular obesity i don't have obesity and suppose renal chronic is one tobacco no contact with other covid one and ico no if you admit in the ico you just uh, input one and if you didn't go into the ico just press two and contact with other covid so if you just uh, contact with any covid 19 patient or you went to any hospital just keep it one so based on all the features uh, like gender in tube pneumonia age diabetes COVID, asthma contact with other covid tobacco real chronic obesity cardiovascular this is a heart disease actually hypertension if you have hypertension based on all the logics and all the features we're gonna uh, see the result if it is uh, the patient is COVID-19 um, positive or negative so after you put all the information just click confirm COVID test so click on this button and it will take some time and as you can see the result zero it has two results which is zero and one if the result is one it means that you were COVID affected but in this case based on these parameters that I have put the result is zero it means that it is COVID negative and you are safe and secure there is no need for any kind of checkup it is your result okay so you can go to the previous page as you can see go back and whatever you see that I already put all the information in the database so this application is a dynamic applications as you can see because I use database to put all my information if you go to the models.pf file as you can see I have all the fields as you can see all the fields and it, it, it will go into the database and it also have an admin panels okay so if you go to the admin.py file as you can see i have uh, put all these models so this is a very simple application as you can see this is the way that you have created you get all the information from your html form and you append all the information and you just predict it using the model.predict and give the list okay you give all the parameters based on this parameter we're gonna predict some information predicts uh, whether you are covid affected or not and we use the model is equal to pd.read pickle we just created a pickle file as you can see uh, covid model.pickle file in the jupyter notebook and just export it as pickle file so that we can use that model to predict any information so this is how you can make your applications and then we have the database record it will get all the data from the database and pass into the database.html page if you go to the database.html page as you can see you will see all of those data as you can see in a table format and you can also delete this thing as well so let's check it out if you go and click on db records okay as you can see now we have the now, nice and beautiful looking table with all the fields that is uh, are the features and based on that we just predicted COVID prediction if it is yes it, it says yes in the red color and if you are safe no you are safe so as you can see based on all the parameters it depends suppose your age is 66 you have diabetes you have COVID you have asthma you have cardiovascular suppose you have renal chronic you will contact with other COVID patients and based on all the parameters it says that you are affected and based on these parameters if you suppose your age is very low like 26 of age uh, you don't have diabetes and you don't have uh, obesity different kind of cases you don't have pneumonia so a lot of cases are negative so in this case and your age is low 
okay and and you are not admitted into the ico so in that case it says you are safe quite safe so it is a prediction level application it doesn't show 100 percent but it is quite uh, effective application okay and if you want you can obviously delete any data okay so it will i already deleted a check and it worked really fine you can also delete that if you click on this as you can see it is deleted and it will redirect you to this page and if you click on covid predictor this is our home here you can see enter perfect values choose one for yes and choose two for no okay so this is all the numbering values so that people can understand that this is a numbering value and people should use that and we have a nice image beautiful looking button and the footer as you can see and we have all already added the navigation sections so all the thing is uh, organized as you can see if you go to the base here we have the nav bar bootstrap and then we have a main content and then we have the footer so this is the footer this is the main um, nav bar and in the uh, block content we have all the tables um, and the forms as you can see we have used a lot of forms uh, to design everything properly so those are the things and the predict.html uh, it will have all the results that we get okay and these results will be coming from this page okay home page so and you will gather all the information and based all the information you go to uh, and predict this thing as you can see we just predicted based on all the information we just predicted that and we created an object so that we can send all this information into the database and this is the result and this is the result is actually getting from this variable okay and the zeroth index we have the result and we're going to put this into the predict page and here we catch that variable and just based on the uh, condition we just print negative or positive okay so we have all the thing one is for the positive and one class for the negative okay so we gather all the information and dynamically and this is a complete dynamic website as you can see this is super awesome you just put all those information and based on you just uh, click on and if you don't put any values if you click on confirm covid test it has a, a required field in the html so you need to put all the values otherwise it is not working and also we have the database integration that shows all the information obviously you can delete that as well we use the normal normal db.sqlite 3 you can use mysql or any other database if you want i just just use it for my checking and uh, put all this if this project into my portfolio in this project you will also learn how you can do with the url patterns how you work with that okay so it will do a different kind of work based on your url so patterns so you learn url patterns templating how it works and block content and block how dynamic routing all of those things you can work you can work with the models and databases and you work with the views which is actually doing all the work and the database queries so you learned a lot of thing and another thing which, which is important which is um covid model or pickle file you need to export that all the information in the pickle file so let's check out our covid book dot which is uh, ipython notebook and if you go into the first page as you can see we needed the pandas and we added the numpy and we added also the from sklearn you need to install sklearn to work with this which is scikit-learn library and pandas and numpy and you use the train to split and we need to read the data as you can see we have covid.csv file which is also here we read all the information what we need and as you can see we have a huge collections of feature set and we have the COVID result based on it okay which is the label and we just use db.df.describe and we uh, use the values count so that we can see how many type of values in each row suppose passion type passion type we have this type of row uh, uh, 44,000 entries and uh, our patient type of one and this is for patient type of two so we can see the shape we have 23 columns and 566,602 uh, rows which is huge data set so we we didn't work with our date so that's why you need to drop some columns which is entry date date died uh, id passion type pregnancy other diseases also if you want to work with those fields you can also work it but it makes the application looks too large so i didn't add that and you just use the shape i work with the 14 uh, 15 uh, columns and we have you see the all the values like indebted obesity how many types of values in each columns as you can see you can use that functions and also uh, in the machine learning model we need to check if there is any null values because it will uh, really hinder our performance of our applications in the prediction level okay so in the machine learning models when you create this thing you need to just pre-process your data properly so that there is any null values 
and what we did we in the x uh, variable we just use the all the things that we ba based on our features this is all the feature set as you can see and based on that we're gonna uh, do our result or find our result which is our label which is covid result and we replaced it with one two or three with one zero and two one means you are uh, predicted positive and zero means you are predicted negative you have no coronavirus and as you can see we have 26 uh, two two lakh seventy seven seventy nine thousand and thirty five passions which is uh, negative and positive is two lakh twenty thousand and six this is the data set that we have and as you can see in the y we use the covid result which is our um, level okay this is the thing we want to predict based on our features then we use x test y test and true interest split and give all the data like x variable this is our feature data y is our label data and it is test size of 0.2 percent so based on that we use uh, first we use the decision tree uh, classifier from the scale under tree and we make a model and in the feed we just put all those x train and a y train this is our train data we feed the model with the train data and then we just predict with the uh, test data okay and it gives some prediction in the error format and then we use the accuracy score from sklearn dot matrix to make sure that whichever score or, uh, we get we get the accuracy score or based on y test and predicted test we uh, just compare those things and we get 0 0.54 which is not good at all so in this particular covid 19 model the decision tree classifier is not uh, appropriate as all well. So uh, we use another model which is sklearn.assemble use random forest classifier which is another machine learning model and we give a estimator of 200 in and just we just fit this model based on x text and y text like the previous one and predict based on x variable x text and then we just uh, give some information and we just tested the score and accuracy score we got 0.63 or, or 0.64 which is quite good compared to the decision tree. So random forest is better if you have a huge amount of uh, feature set as well. I tried the SVM support vector machine, but uh, that takes a lot of time. So that's why I didn't include it in this particular video. Okay, so that takes a lot of time to fit the model. And then we, we just need to output this model, uh, this random uh, forest, uh, random forest classifier into a pickle file so that we can work with this um, in our Django application. As you can see, we just exported COVID model dot pickle file, and we use a panda dot two pickle and give our model which model we want to um, output as a more pickle file, and we just then we just need to read that panda dot read pickle and pickle file and read this pickle file. Okay, this pickle file. If your pickle file in in another directory, you need to give some another directory okay so you go to that directory and pass this directory it will uh, show all the information and you need to predict now you can just you have the model uh, that have the pickle file and you can predict this simply okay so, and give the uh, two-dimensional array and give all the feature set these are based on all those parameters it will give you some results as you can see in the array format okay yeah, and one means positive and zero means negative so this is all the things that I have done and this is the pickle file same thing we just get it inside the this function predict function okay here we just use our model dot uh, predict and model how, how we get this uh, model dot predict we need to import model as you can see panda dot read pickle we just read this pickle file and we just read this pickle file and create a model instance and we just call our predict method and based on that we get our uh, result as you can see in the classification so in the zero to index and this is all the thing that we have uh, to do to create this kind of amazing and awesome beautiful COVID-19 predictor analysis application you can not only do COVID-19 prediction application you can do a lot of lot of different type of applications which is really nice and beautiful so these are all the demo for this particular project I will give you all the link into the github you can see all those things put there you can watch this code and i hope uh, and it is completely responsive as you can see and there's no problem whatsoever it's completely responsive so if it is a big applications and you also see there is no problem whatsoever okay so i think you guys know a lot about now how you can create an amazing machine learning application and implement that in our django applications so thanks for watching i'll be coming with a lot of lot of amazing video in the near future i have a lot of plan and i hope you support my channel and give me much more much more pleasure so that i can grow myself better and properly with you guys okay so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video with a blast